size up or to size down? When it comes to modern mountain bike geometry, it seems like that is the question. Join us today where we take a look at the Pivot Shuttle LT and decide if going up or down in size is the best option for us. All right, so here we are now a couple of months down the road, had a few different riders spending a lot of time aboard both bikes. Uh, we've got our little stopwatch timers on the handlebars, so we've done a lot of timed runs as well as fun rides. And I wanna share some thoughts and what we've learned from this experiment. So we primarily rode the bikes in the low position. We did experiment in high, but uh, for reference right now, we're gonna talk low. Um, the reach on the size large is 488 millimeters. The reach on the size medium is 468 millimeters. The wheelbase is 1,282 mil on the large, 1,257 mil on the medium. So a pretty big change to the wheelbase overall. It's the same 441 chain stays, same 64 degree head tube angle. The seat tube angle does change from 77 on the large to 76.5 on the medium. Uh, but overall, nearly identical dimensions except for that uh, a big increase in the wheelbase as well as the 468 versus 488 reach. So uh, 20 millimeter difference there and over than that in the full wheelbase. So if we flash back to our first ride video that we made when this bike was launched, uh, originally we were sent a size large because at five foot 11, um, I've traditionally been riding larges for a very long time and that's kind of what the pivot crew steered me towards. I felt like the bike wasn't as light and playful as I wanted, right? At 49.8 pounds, this is one of the lighter full power e-bikes on the market. Um, and I just felt like the front end didn't come up as much as I wanted, especially with having a pretty short chain stay. Um, and, and it led to me reaching out to Chris Kokalis uh, and Pivot just to kind of share my thoughts and say, gosh, I, I think I might have selected the medium if I could go back in time and do it again. And they said, well, how about we send you a medium and you ride both and then you can let us know what you think. And so after one ride on the medium, I sent Chris an email back and I feel like I was pretty confident in my selection already. And so I don't misquote him. I'm gonna read what Chris responded to my question in the email. For a five foot 11 inch tall customer on every bike in our lineup, other than the Firebird and the Shuttle LT, we would likely recommend a large. However, with the slightly longer reach, steeper seat angle and relaxed head angle, most riders will in this height range will feel more comfortable on a medium for the increased maneuverability. The Pivot Factory race team are all right around that 5'11 height range and they all ride size mediums. He said they did extensive testing on both larges and mediums and all settled on riding a medium. To me, that's pretty telling when you've got their pro athletes who are active, moving, riding tighter, more technical terrain, sometimes faster, more wide open terrain. But when you've got pro athletes that are opting to size down, it kind of made me feel a little less crazy from what I keep reading and hearing, you know, message board warriors talking about longer, lower slacker. So when it came back to our testing and our quote unquote race runs, uh, what we found was seconds get made up on the racetrack in different areas. Um, Anywhere that this bike would pick up speed and we'd be faster at a split, this bike would make up that time in a different section of trail where we felt slower on the large. Um, and I'm sure you could probably imagine what those types of trails are, right? And what sections of the trails are. But the bottom line is when you looked at the overall time, start to finish, if you're a skilled rider, you know how to move a bike, shift your body weight, the results are gonna be very, very close. What we learned is that it wasn't so much about the race run of which bike is fastest, it was more about which bike was more fun, which one was more effortless to ride and more versatile. And for that reason, pick the medium, right? And the, the big takeaway for us was, yeah, maybe we might be a little faster in a couple of areas of trail on the large. However, 
I don't think there was ever a time either of us said we had more fun on the large. There was a lot of times where we said we could get into corners better, we could exit corners tight, snappy bits of trail that were awkward, navigating switchbacks, manualing, jumping. There's a lot of places that this bike was more fun to ride, easier to ride, and if we got off track or offline, we could push this bike back where we needed to be a lot easier. And I think that was the takeaway. You are looking to, you know, enter that EWS enduro race, um, you know, or you're all about speed, or maybe you spend most of your time on big high speed groomed flow trails, big jump lines, or just riding really steep gnarly terrain. The, the larger bike probably would be the way to go, I would say. Um, I did notice that suspension demands changed quite a bit on that medium. Uh, you know, we ran same tire pressure, same suspension pressure, everything. And what I found was on the medium bike, I ended up uh, running one more volume reducer in that fork. Uh, you know, when we were out on the trail, I ended up cranking down low speed compression all the way maxed out, adding high speed compression. Because what I found is, you know, your center of mass over the bike shifts, right? On a longer bike, you're a little bit, I guess, more off the back. With that smaller bike, I found myself weighting that front end more, which was causing that fork to dive in the really, really steep, hard braking berms and corners. And so that was a little bit of a learning, uh, or I guess I should say like uh, something that opened itself up to us throughout this testing process of having everything set up exactly the same on both bikes. Once we experimented with that, got this fork riding as high as we wanted it to in the travel, it became a little more confident, uh, didn't quite feel so divey, but again, the longer bike is gonna make you feel more stable and safe on really steep terrain. The flip side is, it, this is gonna allow riders who maybe don't wanna muscle a bike so hard, ride it quite as aggressively, have a more fun, easier riding experience. Uh, in conclusion, uh, I would say, as you guys would probably guess, right, we, we never like to take the, the stance of being authorities and that we tell you what you guys should buy or what's best for you. Uh, instead, we like to share our experiences and, uh, you know, over the decades of riding hundreds of different bikes and hoping that it offers you guys a little bit of insight to something that you probably wouldn't be able to do yourselves, which is you know, be on the border of two different sizes and wonder which one's right for you. I don't think a medium is right for everybody, but for me and for Sour Patch, uh, the medium is definitely the way to go. We were not unhappy on the large. The medium was just a lot more fun to ride. And as riders who like to spend time riding technical terrain with lots of corners, uh, like to be lively and active, manual, play, jump, the medium just makes it a lot easier to have fun on the trail than the large. Um, I also thought the medium was a more comfortable climbing position. You know, that 20 millimeter difference in reach on the large, I felt like I was reached out, sticking my hands way out in front of me, trying to ride and climb, especially tight technical uphill switchbacks or rock gardens. This bike, with that shorter wheelbase, I could just slide it between rocks and techie bits of climbing trail and descending or traversing trail so much easier. And again, that, that is why the medium is the right choice for me. So uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Please, if you have any questions, any other thoughts for cool, fun back-to-back -back testing, or your own opinions about which bike you would choose and why, let us know down in the comments below. We love engaging with you guys and talking to you down there. So thank you guys very much for watching. Please, if you don't mind, subscribe to the channel. We would love to uh, have you back for future videos and help us grow the channel. Thanks very much, and we'll see you out on the trails.